Hi guys, it's Donna with North Star Tarot. Excuse me, I still have laryngitis. So if you're just joining us, my voice doesn't always sound like this, okay? Um, and if you're not new and you're coming back, welcome. Um, yeah, so um, we're doing this um, weekly reading for Scorpio. So let's get the show on the road. I'm just going to change the view and we'll get going. There we go. Uh, I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're going to pull a card here to see what the energy for the week is going to be like, okay? So the energy for the week is the Wheel of Fortune reversed, which is a good card, right? Uh, because it's reversed, you're not quite where you want to be, but it's very, very good. You're making good decisions. You're on your way. Don't be afraid. So don't procrastinate. Don't be afraid to do what you need to do. OK, and I think that's kind of be the overall message here. So, yeah. So anyway, we have the in the near past, we have the seven of wands reversed, the six of swords reversed. And the seven of swords reversed. And then the near future, we have the ace of, no, the present, sorry, the ace of swords, the page of cups, and the ace of cups. And then the near future, we have the knight of swords, the star, and the king of cups. So, okay, so as we go through these, so the near, uh, near past, um, so the seven of wands reverse. So I feel like that is a little bit of worry or concern or not being able to make your mind about where you want to focus your energy on. OK, so you really want to pick somewhere to focus your energy. And, you know, and it's you can pick one, two, three, whatever, how many things you can you 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 figure you can handle. Right. But just make sure that you are picking a focus and you are allowing yourself to grow in that area, okay? Um, look forward to that, all right? And then also, uh, we have the Six of Swords. So, and that's reversed. So I feel like there's been some troubles and some, you know, some, you know, things that you've been dealing with that I think you're moving through, okay? So I feel like they're not so heavy anymore. This is coming to an end, which is very, very good. OK, then the seven of swords reversed. So again, the seven of swords is, you know, about, you know, somebody maybe not being um, as honest as they could be. Or maybe you're not being as honest as you could be. Maybe you're avoiding something or they are, you know, so whatever this is, we're going to clarify in a little bit. But I do believe that. You know, it's all about, you know, um, not speaking your truth or someone trying to deceive you. OK, so just be cautious there. All right. And then we get into the present. OK, are the current energies? And we've got the Ace of Swords, and this is all about speaking your mind. Really good ideas coming up for you. Very, very strong. You know, you know what you want. You know how you want it to go. You know what you want to say. And you need to let your voice shine, okay? And I think that's very, very important, all right? Uh, it may be a writing uh, option that you have as well. You could be writing a book or you could be a developer of some kind of project, um, maybe even writing an article, right? Um, and then we have the Page of Cups, okay? So the Page of Cups is you know, having a message that is all about love, okay, all about being kind and gentle and caring and allowing that part of yourself to come out and to, you know, to be known, right, you don't have to hide the fact that you are caring and kind, right, or that there's people around you that are caring and kind. So we'll see how that works out as well, right. And then I see falling in love here with the Ace of Cups. So if you're in a relationship, this could be that your relationship is re-sparking. And if you're not in a relationship, this could be new love is on, your, is on the way, okay? I do believe it's romantic love, 
um, in this circumstance here. And I do believe that this is for many of you. Okay. So Scorpio, look forward to that. All right. So in your near future, we've got the Knight of Swords. Okay. And that's being protective, fighting your way through, not giving up, okay? Being strong, but you don't necessarily fight with your fists, okay? So you have a better way to do it, all right? You are very intellectual. You are very um, word worthy, <laughs> you know? And I think you can fight your way with that, you know? And I think you can be very justful. And I think that is really, really good. Now, I don't know if just is a word, but it, it sounded good to me. <laughs> um, and also moving forward, okay? So in the, in, the, in the near future, we have the star. Again, you want to express what you love. You want to go after your dreams. You know, you don't want to sit idle, right? So go after your dreams, visualize that, and go for it, right? And then with the king of cups, in the near future as well it's just going to make you feel so good and it's going to make you feel like everything is working out the way it absolutely should right and that you are being um fulfilled emotionally okay so we're going to go across and we're going to um clarify some of these okay so let's look at the seven of wands in the near future, in the near past. OK, so coming into this week, what's happening here? So we've got the seven of wands. Um, um, and that is uh, reversed with the queen of cups reversed. OK, so I really do think your your emotions are being stifled by your desires, you know, so you're not clear of your desires. You're not allowing yourself to feel that, right? So you're not allowing those emotions to come out um, because you're unsure of what your goals are. So redefine your goals or rework them, okay? To make them feel more comfortable for what you're looking for, all right? And then the six of swords coming into this with the 10 of coins, okay? So I see prosperity and and, you know, new opportunity there, but it's not going to happen, you know, if you keep hanging on to the past, okay, let that stuff go, look at this as new, you have new opportunities here, doors are opening for you, it's like one door closes, and another door opens, okay, allow that to happen, all right, my dear, and then we've got the seven of swords reversed, and this is the chariot, um, uh, reversed as well okay so worried about some deceit or someone not telling you the truth or you not telling yourself the truth right and what I see here is you know that fear of moving forward okay that fear of of taking taking charge and doing something with it right so let that go okay you have the ability you have the smarts Quit telling yourself you don't, okay? You are so hard on yourself. Quit telling yourself you don't. Take charge and start moving forward in a forward direction as what you want to accomplish, okay? You can do this, all right? And if there is stuff that comes up or if there's people opposing you, you can make arguments for that, all right? You will do that well, all right? So there you go. So in the present, we have the Ace of Swords. And this is the Queen of Swords with that uh, reversed, okay? So basically, it's telling you, don't forget how strong you are. Don't forget how much you want what you want, how much you're willing to fight for it, and how much you can articulate how it's needed and why you need it, right? So make sure that you are trusting yourself and go for it, okay? Just take your ideas allow them to soar. You don't have to be afraid that you're wrong. It doesn't matter even if you're right or wrong. What matters is that you believe in what you think, you believe in what you know, and you go for it, okay? Then we have the page of cups here, okay? So we've got the eight of wands there. So I really do believe that 
you know, allowing your heart to be in the middle of things here, okay? So allowing your heart to show is very, very good, all right? It just makes your passions feel real. And it makes someone see that in you and believe in you, okay? And it allows you to believe in yourself as well if you're willing to risk something, right? Like your emotions. So yeah, this is very, very good. I feel like things are gonna move faster for you. You're gonna feel like you're accomplishing something and you're gonna feel like your emotions are on track to where you're going and what you want, okay? So that's very good. Now, matters of the heart here. We've got the Ace of Cups. And we've got the six of wands. So I see victory here, okay? So if you've been in a struggling relationship, this is your chance to kind of make things better and maybe respark that relationship or talk about things and get things back on an even keel, okay? And I see victory if you're looking for a relationship, all right? So this would be a really good time to plan what you're going to do to get a relationship where you're going to expose yourself to, or actually making that step to go after the relationship that you want, okay? And you know what? When it does come to you, sometimes we hold back, right? And we don't want to accept that and we're just afraid. Allow yourself to be loved, all right? You deserve it. So again, the victory here, right? This is very good. So moving forward, we've got the near future. We've got the Knight of Swords here. And we have death reversed, okay? So the Knight of Swords is very protective energy here, okay? Strong protective energy, willing to take risks, okay? And, you know, looking at this death card, um, so this big change, this big ugly change that's coming, looking at that and staring it in the face and saying, yeah, I've got this, okay? So yeah, so even though there's a difficult situation coming your way, I feel like you've got this, okay? And you can work this out and you can figure it out, okay? The end result will be good, but sometimes when it happens, it knocks us off our feet. This is telling me you've got this and you're gonna be able to stare it face down, okay? So yeah, you're gonna be good there. And then we have the star, and that's clarified with the Knight of Cups. So, you know, allow people in your life, allow yourself to love, allow others to love you, right? Allow yourself to dream. You're worthy of that, right? And just letting these people, you know, this person in your life is wonderful. And, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a romantic relationship or a friend or a child, whoever this is, a parent, allow them in, okay? Sometimes it's good to just, you know, protect yourself and it's good to keep people at arm's length. And other times it's just good to be vulnerable, right? And I do believe you can be vulnerable with at least one person in the near future in your life, okay? And it's very, very good and it's almost needed, okay? And then we have the King of Cups here. So we got the Knight of Cups there, the King of Cups here. And then this is, you know, um, clarified with the seven of wands reversed. So allowing this, you know, allowing yourself to feel opens up opportunities, okay? And, you know, maybe not as, maybe you're still a little holding back. So the opportunities are not on a grand scale, but they're still there, you know, and they're still good. So they're definitely really good opportunities, okay? So don't sell yourself short. Believe in yourself. Love yourself through this. Love others. And, you know, open up to these opportunities that can come your way, all right? And then, you know, we're going to look at the energy that we have leaving this week, okay? So leaving this week, we've got the world reversed, all right? So I really think that you're going to feel like you are on top of your game, all right? Even though there is a little bit of insecurity there, you're not quite sure 100%, you still have that world energy there, right? Where you can see that you need to take some chances to get some things done, right? To get to get on your path and to to make sure you're going down, you know, a certain way so that you can achieve some goals. And I think you just need to just 
take that leap of faith and just do that, right? And I think you're going to do really, really well. So anyway, I think that's a wonderful reading. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, that is for all you Scorpios. <laughs> and um, yeah, so you guys have a wonderful week. We will talk soon. And uh, bright blessings, guys. Bye for now.